Hi everyone, thank you very much for watching this video and for subscribing to my channel. So in this video, uh, what I want to talk about is about LED matrix. I mean, these things are amazing. You can pretty much build them in any size. You can have, you know, a, a small banner. You can have, you know, 500 pixels, 600, 1,000 pixels, you know, two feet by one feet. You can make them in any size you want. So I want to talk about that in this video. Uh, it could be is a little bit tricky uh, when, you, when it comes to the configuration of, of a matrix. So I want to show you how I do it uh, so you get a better understanding how x uh works when it comes to, to matrix. So now let's watch this small clip. I want to show you the LED uh, matrix that I got from Amazon. It's a small one but it, it will prove the concept of how metrics are configured. So let's watch the next clip. Okay, so this is the metrics that we're gonna be using for our test. Uh, this has eight by 32 LEDs for a total of 256. So it's, uh, it's flexible. Uh, the LEDs type is the WS2812B. And they're pretty much treated as uh, the same as the WS2811. So that's what we're going to be using in X lights. Now, the way this is wired is that the signal goes up and down, up and down, like a zigzag on this, on this direction. It doesn't go on the long direction. So it goes up and down. Now, this is a 12, a 5 volt matrix. Uh, I, my whole show is 12 volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a voltage reducer. This is going to drop my, the power from 12 volts to 5 volts. So I do burn. I don't want to burn it, right? So this is going to go on the back just right before he, the energy comes into uh, the matrix. So uh, let's take a look at the back. Very simple. All we have the data in. Uh, we have data in. We have negative. We have positive. We have another couple of wires if we need to inject energy. And then we have the output uh, signal if you want to connect a second matrix or jump to another element. So this is pretty much it. It's 8 by 32. And really, you can treat this as a large matrix. I mean, imagine that this might be, I know, 2 feet by 4 feet, you know, long. Uh, this is 256 LEDs. So now let's move into X lights and see how we're going to configure this. Okay, so we are in X lights. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into the layout tab and we're going to click on this icon on the top, which is create new matrix. And then we're just going to click on the bottom and then we're just going to make it larger. Okay. For a good size. Okay. So now let's go, let's take a look at uh, the, the first configuration that X lights has by default. So right now it's saying that this is a horizontal uh, display. It has 16 strings. Each string has 50 lights and each of those strings is considered a, a, a strand. Okay. So let's, let's right click into it and look at the wiring review so we can have a better understanding of, of what does these numbers mean. So first of all, is saying that we got 16 strings and here we have 16 strings you know 1 to 16 each of them has 50 lights so we got 50 lights horizontal okay and each of those is treated as one strand so here we have one strand 16 times right so what's the problem with this so this is not following uh, our matrix wiring uh, path right hours go up and down up and down it's this one long string of 256 it goes up and down so this is telling me that we got 16 individual meaning that each of this is going to go is going to have to plug into our controller and this makes no sense because that means that we're going to use 16 ports just to control a few lights okay that's not the best use of a port, knowing that we can control more than a thousand lights per port. So we're going to have to change this setting to match our matrix. So let's close this view and start making some changes in here. 
So first of all, we're going to tell it that we have one string, and I have 256 slides. And after that, we know that we have 32 strands, right? Because it's 8 by 32, so it's going to go up and down 32 times. So each of those is going to be treated as a strand. Now, this is important. This is just because this is how this matrix was wired. If you do a large matrix, I mean, you can go in the, in the opposite direction. You can go left and right, left and right, up and down, and then you'll have to change this uh, to the number of strands, either vertically or horizontally. So just for this one, this is what we have to do. This is why it's important. You, you're going to have to play around. And I'm going to show you this in a minute. Once we go into the sequence, we might have to come back here and change, the num uh, change some of these numbers to match our configuration. Because you can pretty much place your matrix horizontally or vertical, or you can turn it all you know, 180 degrees around and it's going to look different from, from the setup that you have in the X slides. So you need to play around with these numbers to match the way you're going to be positioning your matrix on your show. But let, let, let's continue with this. So now I'm going to have 32 strands up and down, all right? So now my view changed and it looks wrong, but let's put it like this. I'm going to move it over here and then I'm going to rotate it, okay? So now it looks, it looks better. Now let's take a look at the wiring now. Right click, wiring in view. And I'm going to expand this a little bit. Okay, this looks much better. So even we rotate the image, the, this view was not rotated, it's just fixed. Uh, but it's showing the right direction. You know, we got eight going down and then a zigzag going up eight and then 8, 8, 8, 8 for a total of 256 slides. Okay, so this is good. Even it's not showing in the right way uh, because we cannot rotate this image. Uh, the wiring is, is right. Okay, so let's, let's leave it like that and start playing around with, um, uh, with the sequence and see we can have some, some text uh, moving around or showing it in our matrix. So we're going to click Save. And then we're going to go into the sequencer, and I'm going to start a new sequence. It's going to be animation, no music, uh, 20 frames per second, and then done. Okay, now it imported my whole show, but that doesn't matter because I can see the magic is right here. So now uh, there's an icon over here. This is text, so I'm going to drag it and put it over my matrix in that line, okay? And I'm going to expand it, okay? So now I'm going to click on it, and, I, and on, the, on the left side, we can put some text. So let's write tune 101.5 FM for music, okay? And that's it. Let's, let's try that. Or music. So now I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna go and output to X lights. And actually I have it on the back if you can see right here. Okay so the first thing that I'm seeing is that it seems like it is displaying an F but it's backwards uh, you know and it's not moving it just fixed. So we'll, let's go back and make some changes in here. So let's say that uh, it says the movement is none I'm going to change this to left and do an update. Okay, so now it's showing in here, but yeah, it's backwards. You know, it's showing up and down. Um, so let's let's uh, save this, do an update, and I'm going to stop it. And let's go back to to our layout and tell them that it's not horizontal. Let's say that it's vertical, you know, something like this, and then let's turn it around. See, this is this is could be a little bit tricky, okay? And now let's save this, and let's go back to the sequencer, click it again, and let's play it. Okay, now it's showing something, but it's going backwards. 
okay so we still need to change something to make it match so let's let's make another change we're gonna stop it let's go back to our uh, settings our layout and let's say now that the string lo the, the starting location is on the left on the bottom left let's change this to be uh, bottom right and click save it matters how where we start right because uh, I mean it, it does matter if if the line comes on the top or if it comes on the bottom it, it changes the direction um, so let's go back to our sequencer uh, select it again and turn it on there we go tune 1015 FM for music okay so this is this is why I tell you that the only way to get it right is to play around with it because you know it, it all matters how we wire it and how we place it in, in our show but the good thing is that x -Lite let us you know play around with the connections play around if it's vertical if it's horizontal so we can change that now right now it's playing on two colors I'm gonna come in here and select I'm gonna unselect the white so now it's all red um, let's change the speed I think it's going too fast oh I just changed it the other way left uh, let's change the speed lower it to let's say five so now slow down a bit now let's add more colors let's all green blue yellow and that looks much better right okay there you go I mean it wasn't that hard a little bit tricky but not that hard now I have this this matrix plugged into my Falcon controller in port number nine eight I mean eight so why port number eight okay so let's 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 go all the way I mean if, if I'm gonna show you how this is how to work let's see how how I plug it to my controller this is my how I did it you know for my controller but this will give you a better idea how you should uh, you where you can plug it in 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 your controller so let me open a um, let, let me stop this because it's distracting uh, I'm gonna stop it and uh, let me open the browser and navigate to my controller um, here's my controller let's go to the output settings and then the string port and here we go so here is saying I have a whole bunch of uh, other uh, elements plug into uh, different ports now this is not the best way of doing it because I've been doing a lot of testing uh, basically what you should do is try to use as many lights per port okay so you because I mean to bet to get a, a better use uh, because like here I only have 600 600 to 229 well this I have over almost uh, 416 here uh, in port number three but I only have like 96 for port number four I can put all of them together in one port but just for the heck of this exercise I plug it in port number eight for a total of 256 lights and this is a uh, important start channel 6151 okay if you notice that's the that's the continuation of, of, of my gutter line I go from 51 uh, 6150 to 6151 okay so this is why I plug it on on port number uh, 8 now uh, if you don't fully understand this don't worry because um, in one of my videos uh, when we create a sequence uh, well may, many of my videos we talk about channels but one of them you know the initial configuration for the Falcon uh, controller we talk about channels and what they mean and how they are structured so I highly recommend that uh, you see that video and then come back so th all this makes sense okay uh, but if we go back to X lights I will explain a little bit on, on this so let's go into the layout sequence again and here I have all my elements you know it starts from uh, oh, let me sort them by channel 
So you start with my Mega 3, you know, 360 channels, and then it goes into the sheet tree that he, uh, some snowflakes, and then here at the bottom we have the garage, uh, the gutter line, and it ends on 6150. And this one is saying that it starts on 6151. So I'm not saying on which port it is. I'm just saying the channel that it starts, you know, and on it starts on 6151, but it turns out that that 6151 starts on my port 8. That's why I plug it into the port 8, okay? So again, if you don't fully understand this, just watch the video of the initial setup for the Falcon controller, and you will be better understand this, what I mean by this. So there you have it. This is a small, small uh, demo on how to configure a, um, a, a matrix um, for, for your show, okay? Now, um, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to replace this ugly sign that I had for two years, okay? And I'm going to replace it with a LED matrix, okay? So it should, it's going to look better. Now, this is not waterproof. It's not, it's not weather uh, proof. So I still need to put it in a casing. And I highly recommend that you do that as well, because otherwise, uh, on the first rain or the first snow, uh, this is going to go off. It's going to burn it, you know, okay? All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, and please like it and subscribe to my channels. Many more videos are coming. Thank you.